People with big yards aren't the only ones who can garden. When working with limited space, some of the most stunning and imaginative gardens are created by carefully selecting plants that provide many benefits. For that reason, we have compiled a list of 10 shrubs that are ideal for tiny gardens or containers, since they are all attractive, native, hardy, or provide interest throughout the year. Number 1. Low Scape Mound Aronia With its abundance of white blossoms in spring, its striking black summer fruit, and its spectacular red fall foliage, it provides appeal throughout the year. With a maximum height and width of two feet, it is an ideal choice for gardens that are not too big. Because it can tolerate a wide variety of soil types and levels of moisture, it stays looking good all year round in pots and gardens. They do very well in zones three to nine. Number two, Sunjoy Mini Maroon Barberry. Sunjoy Mini Maroon has the darkest leaves we've ever seen on a non-invasive barberry. Therefore, this barberry is a safe bet for your yard and containers. Plant it as an accent plant in a container arrangement, garden edging, or mixed borders for its rich color and adaptable habit. Because of its naturally mounded habit, resilience to deer, and tolerance of dryness, it retains its attractiveness once planted. Number three, Sugar Baby Forsythia. When it comes to spring beauty, Forsythia is unrivaled. Growing no more than two feet tall and three feet wide, this dwarf cultivar bears an abundance of stunning bright yellow flowers along its narrow branches. Throughout the season, even after the flowers have faded, its lush green foliage makes a beautiful backdrop for other plants. This Forsythia has a compact habit, can adapt to a wide range of soils, and can tolerate shadow, which makes it very useful in landscapes. Number 4. Polypatite Rose of Sharon. You can anticipate the same beautiful high viscous blossoms from polypatite, but on a significantly smaller frame. Its naturally rounded habit and compact growth rate make it a great choice for small gardens and container groups. You may say goodbye to weeding and hello to its charming cottage flower display, which lasts for months. Number 5. Smooth Hydrangea Its robust, compact frame can support masses of classic mofed flowers without flopping, and it grows to a maximum height and width of 2 to 3 feet. Its red-blooming capabilities mean that you can enjoy its pure white flowers all summer and into fall. This particular hydrangea arborescence is native to the U.S. and would make an excellent choice for a pollinator garden, so that should put your mind at ease. Number 6. Bobo Panicle Hydrangea When left on the stems, its delicate white blossoms transform into dusty pink or crimson as they age gracefully, and they continue to add visual appeal all the way into winter. This stunning pollinator attractor is more sun-tolerant and soil-tolerant than other hydrangeas, making it easier to plant in your yard. When you wish to bring a touch of nature within, you may also use it as a cut or dried flower. Number 7. Tater Tot Arborvitae. The Tater Tot Arborvitae is an excellent choice for borders, walks, or containers used to frame doors or windows. It will eventually reach a height of 2 to 3 feet and a width of 3 to 4 feet without any pruning because it grows in a thick, tiny ball. You can shape it in the spring once new growth has begun to push out if you so desire. Number 8. Double Play Candy Corn Sparia. Throughout the growing season, Double Play Candy Corn adds breathtaking beauty to any garden. The candy apple green foliage stands out against the deep red new growth that appears in the spring. While new growth is orange in the spring and summer, the foliage turns a lovely pineapple yellow in the fall. The dark purple spring blossoms, on the other hand, are the showstopper and make a great choice for cut flowers. Number 9. Lil Diddy Witherode Valleburnum. This Valleburnum is one of the tiniest ones out there. 
This natural plant is fragrant and space efficient. It attracts pollinators but has zero attraction for rabbits or deer. With a maximum mature size of 2 feet in height and 2 feet in width, it offers a great deal of flexibility in terms of garden placement. Number 10. Pugster Pinker Butterfly Bush Their candy pink blossoms, which bloom from summer into October, entice not just pollinators but also people. Even though it's one of the drought-tolerant shrubs out there, this one still requires exceptionally well-drained soil. If you give it a little trim in the spring, it will be show-ready all summer. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.